Section 15.2, double integrals over general regions. So you should be able to set up and evaluate iterated integrals over non-rectangular regions. And you should be able to choose the best order integration uh, if there is a choice and you should be able to swap order if that's what allows you to evaluate uh, a, a, a given double integral. So in our last section, we had, this was our computational tool, uh, the first version of Fubini's theorem here for how to evaluate uh, double integrals. So if we had a function uh, f of that y, that we're integrating over a rectangular box, a, x is between a and b, y is between c and d, we just write this out as a iterated integral, you know, y runs from c to d, x runs from a to b of f of x, y, uh, and we can put this in either order. But not everything in life is going to be a rectangular box. You know, but life would be very boring, you know, but, 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 like there isn't too much more to do uh, if all we're given is integrating over rectangular boxes. The much more interesting thing for us to do is, well, what happens if we have more more general regions? That's that's the name of name of the game here. So we're going to break things into two cases. One case, so 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 one case that we're going to have a theorem for is if things look like the following. That if we have some function like this, this is, you know, y is a function of x, and this is also y is a function of x. So let's say y is equal to g1 of x, and let's say y is equal to g to g2 of x. And we have so let's say x is a, x is b. So what happens if we have this kind of region? So know that this is not a rectangle. This is not a rectangle, but we have two straight line boundaries here. So x is running from a to b. x is runs from a to b. And then y runs from the lower value of y is some function of x, the upper value of y is also some different function of x. And so the idea here is that we can slice our region vertically. Um, the old textbook uh, used, this, used the term, the new textbook doesn't, but this is a vertically simple region. The second case would be, well, what happens in a setup like this? We have the following picture. So we have x is some function of y here. x is a different function of y here. And we mark so here is y is equal to c, y is equal to d, and the region that we're integrating goes from a fixed value of y, y is equal to c, to another fixed value of y. And then the x values for any particular value of y here run from x is h1 of y to h2 of y. So we can slice it. We slice it horizontally here. And so we would call this region horizontally simple. So if we are in either one of these two cases, we're in either one of these two cases, there's a relatively nice way for us to write down iterate integrals to evaluate them. So here is Fubini part two, thing that we really care about here. Suppose we have f of x, y is continuous on some region R. So case one here, it, R is defined by x runs from A to B, y runs from G1 of x to G2 of x. That's this picture right here. X is running from A to B, y is running from G1 of x to G2 of x. We're assuming that G1 and G2 are continuous on the interval from A to B. And then the double integral of f over r 
is you integrate, the outer integral here is x is running from a to b, y is running from g1 of x to g2 of x, f of x, y, dy, dx. So note that the bounds here on the inner integral are, these are bounds that depend on x, and that's okay. That's okay. Case two here, if r is defined by y is running from c to d, x for a fixed value of y runs from h1 of y to h2 of y. Once again, that's this picture right here. x runs from c to d, y runs from, sorry, x runs from h1 of y to h2 of y. Then the double integral of f over r is integral y runs from c to d, x runs from h1 of y to h2 of y, f of x, y, dx, dy. So, so this is our, you know, this right here is going to be our main way to compute double integrals over these more interesting, more general regions. So, so, so let's do an example of this. Let's evaluate the integral of 2xy dA over region D, where D is the region that is bounded by y is equal to x and y is equal to x squared. So before we do anything else here, we need to figure out, you know, is it going to be horizontally simple? Is it going to be vertically simple? We need to figure out what the bounds are here. And really the thing that we want to do to start things off is to draw the picture. So y is equal to x. Okay, that's a straight line passing through the origin. y is equal to x squared is going to be parabola with vertex at the origin. They intersect at the origin, 0, 0. They intersect right here at the point x is 1, y is 1. And so by, by looking at this, this appears to be a vertically simple region. We can express this as the we can express this region as x is allowed to run from 0, 0 to 1, 1. Sorry, uh, that should just be x is running from 0 to 1. And then for fixed value of x, y runs from x squared to x. Now the temptation might be to say here y, the lower bound is x and the upper bound is x squared because our, our natural thought might be that x squared is bigger than x. To realize that between x is when x is between 0 and 1, y is equal to x is actually bigger than y is equal to x squared. Okay, so what is our uh, integral? How do we use Fubini 2 here? So we're going to write this. We have our region described in this way as a vertically simple region. So x is running from a to b x is running from 0 to 1. Sometimes when I do double integrals, I like to include on labels of what variable over here I care about. So this is x is running from 0 to 1. y is running from g1 of x to g2 of x. So our g1 of x, the lower bound here, y is equal to x squared. The upper bound is running y is equal to x. And then the thing that we are integrating, our integrand is 2xy dy dx. So now this is the, this is the uh, uh, integral, or uh, iterated integral we need to evaluate. How do we do this? First we evaluate the inside integral. So, the, so antiderivative Antiderivative 2xy with respect to y is going to be xy squared. And then we're going to plug in, realize the thing when we plug in here is going to be functions, not constants, but functions of x. And that's okay. So the thing inside that orange circle became that. So now we plop in y is x and y is x squared. 
y is x gives us x times x squared is x cubed. y is x squared gives us x times x squared squared is x to the fifth. So this is the this is the uh, integral that we need to evaluate here, and so this ends up as x to the fourth over four minus x to the sixth over six plug in zero to one one fourth minus one six, which is one twelfth if you care about the final answer simplified. Okay, so that's our first example here. We'll do a lot more examples in a section of these more interesting, more general. Um, uh, iterated integrals over more general, more interesting regions.